Thomas wasn't worried at all as he travelled up the branch line with Annie and Clara. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. But then he came to the bridge by the water mill. What's the matter, Thomas? Why are we slowing down? Is there an animal on the line? No, it's just... Well, Percy says he heard something spooky last night as he went over this bridge. But I'm sure there's nothing to... Did you hear it, Thomas? Do you mean that terrible moaning and groaning? Under the bridge? It must be a troll. A troll? Trolls live under bridges. Don't you remember the three billy goats gruff? Percy's right. It was a mean, hungry troll that lived under the bridge. The three billy goats were all scared to cross over. They made the little one go first, and he survived by telling the troll to eat his bigger brother. I'm going first! Oh, I'm going second. Calm down, Toby. What are you racing for? We can't wait here forever. I don't hear anything now. Maybe the troll's gone away again. Oh! There's probably nothing to worry about. I mean, whatever it was is probably... Oh! oh! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! It's still here! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! The third one has to be brave, Thomas. The third one has to make the troll go away. What are you talking about, Percy? In the story, the third goat is the one who makes the troll go away. And you're the third. <gasps> oh, Thomas, he's very hungry now. That doesn't sound like a troll to me. I do believe you're right, Annie. It sounds more like a... a cow. A cow? A cow? <laughs> One of Farmer McCall's cows had broken the fence and wandered down into the river, where it got stuck in the mud. Jem Cole brought Trevor the traction engine to help and set up a winch to lift the stranded cow back up again. And Thomas carried the poor frightened animal back to the farm. That night in the sheds, Thomas, Percy and Toby told the other engines about their big adventure. A cow? <laughs> you were all frightened of a cow? It's not that funny. You can laugh, James. But Farmer McCall said he was very glad that we found it. Imagine thinking a cow was a troll! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It was really scary. Well, it's a little amusing. <laughs> Where on earth has that silly little diesel got to? Wonderful little diesel you have here. A very useful engine indeed. Uh, 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 job done, sir. But uh, uh, what about Percy's wheels? Huh? What, what do you mean, sir? Oh, I wanted you to take Percy's new wheels to the steamworks. <gasps> oh, 
You mean you want me to do another special? Oh, I'd be delighted. Ah, 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 hey, 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 another special job for me. On me, you know, you can depend. I'm going to the steamworks to see my friend. <laughs> Poor Percy was still waiting for his new wheels. He'd been waiting all day. Sydney, where have you been? Huh? Oh, well, I've picked up an elephant from the waste dump uh, to bring Gordon the Earl's new boiler. An elephant? Boiler? But what about <gasps> my wheels? Huh? Oh! Yeah, I brought your new wheels. You didn't think I'd forget, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Thomas. What are you doing up here? I wanted to find you. I wondered whether you might be up for a challenge. <laughs> you know me, Thomas. Always up for a challenge. Great, Connor. Let's have a race. A, a race? Oh, I don't know. My coupling rod might come loose again and cause an accident. No, Thomas, I can't have a race with you. <laughs> Not with me, Connor. I'm much too fast for you. I thought you might race against Stephen. That's right, pal. How would you like to take on the rocket? Huh? On your marks. Get set. Go! But I'm far too fast for you, Stephen. No offence. None taken. And no offence to you either. But you're not too fast for me anymore. I could race laps around you. <laughs> no. I, I can't race. Not after what happened with my coupling rod. Coupling rod? Coupling rod? Don't talk to me about coupling rods. Back in my day, Connor, we wouldn't have worried about coupling rods. I mean, we had parts snap off and bits come loose. Some engines I work with even exploded. Kapow! But did they give up? No! They picked themselves up, got their parts back together and carried on racing like the heroes they were. Hard-working, steam-driven railway engines who like to go fast. Not like you, Connor. But I do like to go fast. Then get out there and prove it. Go on, you can do it. You can be bang on time all over again. You're right. I can do it. I can do it. I'll be by on time again. Woohoo! Woo! Hey! Go, Connor! Level! Hey! Wow, Stephen. That was a great pep talk. Did those engines you worked with really put themselves back together after they exploded? Don't be silly, Thomas. <laughs> I made that bit up. But sometimes you need a good story just to get things back on track again. And it got Connor going, didn't it? <laughs> At last, Connor felt like himself again. He was fast, he was happy, and he was eager to be bang on time. 